Did you know in history there are some individuals that have never lost a battle? I'm going to introduce some of them and their accomplishments. Born in Pella, the ancient capital of Macedonia, Alexander was tutored by Aristotle and ascended to the throne after his father's assassination. Alexander embarked on an unprecedented military campaign, conquering the Persian Empire. This campaign reached as far as India. In Alexander's greatest battle, the Battle of Lagamela, he faced Persian King Darius III. Despite being heavily outnumbered, Alexander employed a brilliant combination of tactics, including the famous hammer and anvil strategy, winning the battle and resulting in the collapse of the Persian Empire. Born in Rome, Scipio Africanus, also known as Publius Cornelius Scipio, hailed from the prominent Roman Scipio family. He displayed military prowess at an early age. Famed for his role in the Second Punic War, he defeated Hannibal and the Carthaginians. Elected consul at the young age of 30, Scipio defeated the Carthaginians in Spain, solidifying Roman dominance in the region. His victories defeating the Carthaginians in North Africa earned him the title Africanus. In his most famous battle, the Battle of Zama, Africanus faced the Carthaginian general Hannibal during the Second Punic War. Scipio secured resounding victory, effectively ending Carthaginian dominance in the war. Bai Qi, a general of the Qin Dynasty, served during the tumultuous Warring States period in ancient China. Bai Qi is renowned for his ruthless and efficient military campaigns, capturing over 70 cities and killing over a million enemy soldiers. His uncompromising tactics played a crucial role in the ultimate unification of China under the Qin Dynasty. His successes contributed to the eventual unification of China under their first emperor, Qin Sihuan. Tariq ibn Ziyad was a Berber Muslim commander during the Islamic Umayyad conquests in the 8th century. He led the Muslim forces to victory, which paved the way for Islamic rule in Visigothic Hispania. The name Gibraltar is derived from Jabal Tariq, in honor of his role in the conquest. In the Battle of Guadalete, Ziyad led the Islamic Umayyad forces in this pivotal battle against the Visigothic king Roderick. The Muslim victory at Guadalete facilitated the Islamic conquest of Visigothic Hispania, setting the stage for the Islamic rule of the Iberian Peninsula. Kumba, also known as Rana Kumbakarna, ruled the Mawar kingdom in western India during the 15th century. He successfully expanded his kingdom by overcoming formidable adversaries, including the Gujaritis, Malwans, Marwaris, and Nagauris. He built the massive Kumbhagar fortress in Rajasthan, a testament to his military and architectural prowess. He engaged in multiple campaigns to expand his kingdom, and his success in these campaigns solidified his reputation as a powerful military leader. These individuals, from their respective times and regions, left an enduring legacy of military excellence and an unwavering determination for victory in battle.